Greetings family, we're live on Revolutionary Camp. We're here at the Micklin and we're doing some incredible conversation. And I'm here with my wonderful, incredible sister. She's gonna introduce herself to you and then she's gonna give you this incredible topic and she's just gonna go with the flow. <laughs> Greetings to you and thank you for joining in. Yes, I am in Ghana, baby. In Ghana, back home in the motherland. Enjoying my time here with Mr. Bumani Tagembe, sisters. <laughs> but yes, I um we came up with this discussion. Who do we think are the top finest women and men in the world? Because you know, we are all both uh, world travelers and we've met and encountered some Oh God, incredible people. So I'm speaking about the men. So my experience, and you see I got this big smile. When I tell you I love, I love black men. Woo, baby. There's some fine men on this world. It's some, I mean, I just love the whole being of a, <laughs> of a man. But there's nothing like a black man. Baby, they are tall. They gonna protect you. Dark skin, melanated, where the skin is just glistening and glowing. You feel like a schoolgirl, like daddy is home. You, you understand that term. <laughs> and then when they have them bald heads and that beard, oh my God, don't be so pepper. I'm a sucker for beards, right? So, coming back to some of the finest men in the world. I'm gonna say my number one choice it's Jamaica! <laughs> Jamaica baby! Oh my God! Woo! It's nothing like a Jamaican man, honey. They are so fine. Just so fine. And they're gonna protect you. They might be a little bit full of shit on the DL, but it's nothing like a Jamaican man. They're sweet to you. They're real sweet. And they cook good. <laughs> My number two choice, at first I had uh, Nigeria, that was number two for the finest, but I had to take it back because y'all not the finest. The number two is my USA men, my African American, baby, it's all because of us, New York for life, New York for life, New York for life. I know y'all like, so why we number two? But hey, that's my truth, so. Heads up to the, my American, my African American US brothers, I love you. Your swag is the best swag for this. You know, you got my back, you got my front, you got my heart. But you know, we still gotta keep building, all right? Keeping it real, bringing up our value, okay? My number three, the finest men in the world. And when I tell you they fine, oh my God, I'm a sucker for them. Them fucking Nigerians, baby. Nigeria all day, Niger, they are the fine. They, when you talking about swag, when it comes to style, Nobody can fuck with Nigeria. Fashion all day, all day. So respect to the Nigerians, you know, they got that fashion locked down. They might be a bum at home, but y'all really got that, that outer garment. So if you want to get branded, make sure you get branded by a Nigerian. Yeah. And then I'm going to say my number fourth choice for the finest man on the planet Earth is going to be Oh wow, I did it backwards. I should have told you four, three, two, and one. I just realized that. So now I'm not even going to tell you what my number four was. Yeah, because my number four is really my number one. <laughs> and my number one love of the finest men in the whole wide world are Ghana men. They are so chocolate, so sexy, so respectable, so loving. They're so helpful, they're business minded, they're so gentle, but at the same time, they have force, they have history, they have tradition. They're just fine and sexy, yo. They make you feel like a true queen. So, my number one real choice was to my Ghana man. I say, have a beautiful day. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs>